you return, you return, you return, you return, and why not all of you too? Just in case you needed one of these. Firstly, Okay, let's move on. Returnee characters. How controversial. From what I've seen, returning characters are usually well received, but not all the time. Two of the main issues that I've seen people have with the returning characters would include the way they look, or the character just being used in a specific scene or episode for pointless fan service. Neither of these issues seems to particularly get to me, and I don't really know what that says about me, but maybe it shows that I'm not bothered by these things. Is that a bad thing? I don't know. Should I be bothered by fan service? I don't know. I don't have much to say about the former of these issues, as I don't really care how bad or good a character looks, as the look of the character doesn't really affect my outlook on them as a whole. What really affects my outlook on that character is the way that they're written and the characterization that they're given. Now it's time to get to the nitty gritty stuff, so prepare yourself. Maybe grab a bag of popcorn. A small, cause this probably won't take that long. The truth of the matter is, yes, some characters are used for fan service. I don't think there's anyone in the fanbase that can actually deny that. But that's not to say that all characters have been used as fan service and that all characters are devoid of any personality at all. In my opinion, a character is well developed when that character can be put into multiple situations and can still bounce off the other characters around them. Out of the returning characters that we've seen so far, the character who is most able to do this and pull it off is Daisy. We've seen her now share episodes with Ryan, Annie and Clarabelle, and a bunch of random traveling performers as well as just normal railgoers. And yet, despite this, I've seen people saying that the three episodes that Daisy's had have been too much. This one thing I kind of fail to comprehend, seeing as Daisy's been out of the series for, I think, 20 years, and even when she was in the series, she hardly had any episodes in the first place. And Daisy's appearance in these three episodes don't feel like fan service at all. Instead, they feel like very clever utilizations of the character that they have. In contrast to this, a returning character that has not been utilized to his full potential is Duck, who ironically was the most requested character to begin with. However, he seems to be the character that people want to see the least nowadays. Throughout Duck's introduction in season 17 and 18, he wasn't really given a proper personality. In season 17, he had one episode, The Thomas Way, in which he was the secondary character to the main character, Thomas. And in season 18, Duck just had random cameos and appearances in episodes where, to be honest, he didn't feel like he needed to be there in order for the story to develop, but he was just there for fans. At least, that's what some people think. I have a differing opinion. In my opinion, just because a character appears in a specific scene for no reason doesn't make it fan service. Instead, I take it as world building. Sodor is a railway and railways have lots of engines. So, why should only seven engines appear? The seven engines I'm referring to are the Steam Team, not counting Toby because he doesn't really appear with them very often. Having characters other than the Steam Team appear on other parts of the island show that the railway is a functioning railway. The railway has multiple lines, and each of those lines is being controlled by multiple engines, not just the main seven being split up to different parts of the island. And of course, they don't actually need returning characters at all. The team can just make new characters and put them on those parts of the island that the returning characters would be. But imagine the fan backlash they would get for that. Following on from this, the new characters would need episodes dedicated to them and to developing their personality. With returning characters on the other hand, they can be put into the background for us so we can say, Hey, I saw that character in this episode, he made it a spoke, but he at least appeared. 
and I doubt a child watching would actually notice that character in the background as they are background characters, they are used for the world to make it feel alive. They would really be focusing on what's on the foreground, which is the main action. This would then show that the character still exists in the show's universe, though they may not speak because they don't need to. Seeing the main Steam Team appear everywhere would get redundant and boring. There would be no variety in the engines on the island as everything we see is just seven boring plain engines. And I personally would like to look towards Season 19 and Season 20 for how returning characters should be used. Season 19 only had one episode devoted solely to a returning character, Toad and the Whale, which focused on Toad, not Oliver, not Duck, but Toad. Also in Season 19, returning characters were seen in the background quite often. Duck was relegated to a background character, and he only spoke once. Other than that, he was seen working in the background. This can be said for a few other returning characters as well, like Bill and Ben, who I personally think are some of the best developed characters, not only in terms of returnees, but in the series. Similar to Daisy, they can be put in multiple situations and still make for a great episode. It's wonderful. Moving into season 20, we've seen a greater exposure of returning characters, and the utilization of these returning characters has been spot on. Duck has been seen working in the background, and the foreground, especially in episodes like Blown Away or Pouty James. And in Blown Away, we've seen Duck do something that we haven't seen him do in the CGI series to date, not mention the Great Western Railway. Instead, we saw him belittle another character. Not only Duck was in this episode, but Toad and Oliver as well, and they didn't feel forced into the story. In fact, they felt like plot devices, like characters that should have been there in the first place, and that's what a returning character should be like. They should feel like they should have to be there, that is, if they're going to speak. And in Season 20, we got our first look at Daisy and Donald and Douglas respectively, and Personally, I think they're some of the best written episodes in the series. Each character has their moment to shine, and it's great. A quick side note about fan service: Is fan service limited to characters like Duck, Oliver, Donald, and Douglas? Do the rules of fan service also apply to characters like Stanley, who fans have wanted to see have an episode for a long time, but he still hasn't? And when that moment comes, will it be seen as fan service, as it's something the fans specifically were asking for? All in all, I think returning characters have done wonders for the series, not only in terms of bringing back old favourites, but for also making the world feel more alive. You can't just have seven engines roaming around the island wherever. Personally, I would find that pretty boring if all I saw in the background was Thomas, 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 Thomas. Thomas! Thank you all so much for checking out my latest video. If you like what you saw, please be sure to check out more. And also, thank you to all the amazing music creators in the fanbase. My videos would be nothing without them. Also, a special mention to Sam the Train Fan for helping me get my graphics, and for being an overall good person. Anyways, thanks guys.